Why now with uh, Dylan? Why was now, the, I guess, the appropriate time, do you think, for him to, to go back? Yeah, it was just how the process went with him. Uh, we wanted to get him back, get him a chance to play some games before the World Junior. I think that's important being in Canada for him and uh, should be a big part of that team, a big part of the leadership group there. So get him some games before he goes off to that tournament. And, uh, you know, here he's got a great team there too. So kind of get him in with the group. And then, um, you know, that's just where the, where the process led us to. I know you mentioned and David mentioned, you know, that maybe some of the drawbacks to going back to junior and, you know, this is a process he just has to go through eventually. So um, I don't know if anything changed your mind, but what does he have left to do in junior, do you think? Yeah, it's an imp imperfect situation, of course, but uh, I thought a lot of the things that he could have worked on here, he did work on and, and he, he knows what it takes here and he's learned a lot and uh, just, you know, I, I think he's, again, he's going back to play in a world junior team where he'll be a, you know, a leader there for them and in Canada is a different experience, of course, and, uh, and I just, you know, the Erie team's a lot better than I expected them to be and so he can go back there and and have a chance to win a Memorial Cup. So, um, you know, there's a lot of areas of his game that Tip talked to him about that he can continue to work on and improve upon at the junior level even and just uh, get ready for uh, next year to step in and be a big part here. Dave just touched on how involved the developmental staff will be with him, even though he's a long ways away. Can you walk us through that process? What does that look like? What does it mean on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, Steve Sullivan's kind of the director of player development there. and. Uh, He's got a great relationship with Dylan over the years now. So um, it just, just you know, again, kind of fine tuning his game, getting him to play a pro style of game and pretending like he is in the NHL, even though he, he won't be. But, uh, you know, we've got a strength and conditioning coach, a player development strength and conditioning coach. I think Dylan just physically, it's going to take him some time. And that's kind of where we got to that, you know, he needs to get stronger and kind of that maturation process that everyone goes through. So they'll be in uh, contact with him a lot, working with him and, um, yeah, it's just every day just trying to improve and get better. Are you tracking him? Are there benchmarks you want him to reach by certain dates as he goes along here? Yeah, um, summer or... yeah though that's more of a summer type of thing. I think, you know, uh, he's there going there to play some pretty big games now. And it's that time of year where, you know, there's a lot of things off the ice he's going to be doing and working on and uh, improving upon. But at the same time, it's his on-ice performance that we're looking for right now. What's the plan at center when you know Brad Richardson's hurt, Dylan's gone? Can you yeah. share some insight on that? Yeah, we still have some good depth there internally, so that's where we're going to look first. But you know, at the same time, we were looking to improve upon our center position as it was. So if there's something there that makes sense, then uh, we're actively kind of looking at things as well. So uh, both internally, externally, we'll try and kind of bridge that gap. But you know, Richie's a veteran guy and played a lot of hard minutes and was really good for us early on so certainly a loss and got to find a way to fill it. Dave just told us about Craig Cunningham critical but stable uh, any nothing more than that I assume yeah, coming no, at this point. The same, same thing for me just yeah critical they call it critical but stable and certainly our thoughts and prayers are with Cunningham and his family and and just quickly I mean our staff did a just a phenomenal job in terms of their response and the care he's receiving right now is unbelievable and uh, so a lot of gratitude from our organization and people that care about Connie, you know, what he's going through.